That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Well... Yeah. Well, it's the most efficient eating utensil ever created. A spork. A sp I mean, yeah, it's everything. Right? Kentucky Fried Chicken Corp? God. Do they give sports? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they don't, like, give you two, they just give you the one. I mean, it's not wrong. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Same <laughs> some plastic. Yeah, I guess. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Camel. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, anything. It's long. Yeah, come on. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> this Sprinkle's a good boy. Uh, no. He's the best boy. The best boy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No score. Five out of five. That's great. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. And I'm about to take it for myself. Oh, I gotta turn it into my Hot next. diggity. Poop my shards 420. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow. You, took, you get into class, you listen to a monologue, you take a short quiz, and you just go to lunch. Easy. <laughs> Chicken's fried brain bowls. <laughs> oh my god, do you, do you remember the fucking double down? So, it was like chicken sandwich but the buns were chicken too and oh. it had like oh. like what was this? gravy in the middle and shit was that was kfc yeah oh it was like the delicious or something like that and it was like it had to be like like 1800 calories or some shit oh god <laughs> uh burger king also had something called the steakhouse burger at one point they might still um it was also that many calories around, and uh, me and Kevin got one a couple times back then. And then, then he would he would go up and just say, "I want the suicide burger at the drive-through," <laughs> like as if they would know what that meant. And they were uh, like, uh, <laughs> uh, "God, fucking Kevin." Ugh. Okay, fit. Uh, delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? It must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it that about hell lunch? Hands. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. He's like playing with a puppet. Like. <laughs> We'll see what happens with his crazy hands. No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Ah. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. <laughs> and then the whole KFC clapped. <laughs> <laughs> but I... Shh. No one gives a fuck about you, student. <laughs> lunch, lunch, lunch. She said... Shh. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food his mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but the rumor's true. <laughs> so, so this is some culinary school, and he's bringing in fucking KFC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's my masterpiece. He's like, you just went to KFC. You this douche. greasy chicken <laughs> that was been sitting on the heater for like an hour. <laughs> oh no, you. Sanders lifts a, lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Held high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to be a cr to a crispy golden finish the aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe colonel sanders has filled a bucket with chicken what a novel concept your stomach begins to grumble as if to say stop thinking and start eating 
<laughs> Slogan for KFC. <laughs> Stop thinking and start eating. That is perfect. <laughs> Time to get greasy and, and get in the meaty. <laughs> For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. Or just whatever the fuck KFC's chicken tastes like. You look around and notice that other students with a pen and paper and scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I can say about that. So what I heard... Was that there are two, like, warehouses on opposite sides of, like, Kentucky where, like, half of the ingredients for the herbs and spices are in one and half are in the other. Like so that, see. Yeah, so that if people try to rob it, they'll only get half of the secret formula. Like, that's how, like, well protected it's supposed to be. I'm sure you could figure out the spice combination yeah. pretty easily. I mean, people doing inventory, people, like... Right? Yeah. Well, supposedly they, like, do all that behind the scenes, and and then it's, like, shipped, shipped frozen to stores, and then and heated up. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. Heat. I I haven't known anyone that's worked in a KFC. I don't know. Do they get them frozen? Well, that's how most, like, fast food would work. They kind of just... Like, like Wendy's or anyone else would get, like, a bunch of frozen burger patties, just, like, yeah. boxes upon boxes of them, and it's just like, alright, we'll just keep loading them in. Wendy's is fresh, never frozen, Pat. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Not Wendy's. But, <laughs> you know what I mean. What do you think we want your stupid secret recipe? Take the bones out. They're all they're good for is choking on. <laughs> Maybe that's what I want. I only eat KFC to feel pain. <laughs> oh god, you go to KFC to get the bone. It's what we're doing right now. Uh, dude, Welcome to Jake Shaw. Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is uh, poison. Got him. <laughs> so what's with this Pokemon background? <laughs> he looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. You wait to see what zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear Diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only hands of a true gentleman can fry chicken so tender. You see her body language changing from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders, the sex magnet. She realized that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. That's creepy. Oh, please. Mm. Well, well, Van Van, the man man, if you don't want any... I'll take his. What? Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold on his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of the bucket and you sink your teeth into it. Why bucket. is bucket in quotations? It's just a bucket. It wasn't really a bucket. It's a paper bucket? Do you know, have you guys heard of Buckethead? He was a, like a metal musician, kind of. Yeah, I've he, heard the name. He, he's very talented, but his whole shtick is that he wears a KFC bucket on his head. Oh, and perfect. He kinda, he's like a masked like guitar guy. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm into that, it. That, that's that, <laughs> yeah. Amazing tasting Colonel Sanders food transports you to another dimension. God, what an ad. Along with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Oh, well, um, hang on. There. Uh, you float weightlessly. Probably thinking about Colonel Sanders? Yeah. Savor the moment and everything it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. 
Stay focused on what matters here. Get the dick. Get the dick. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful. Pure heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that only can be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? No. Sometimes, Sometimes? yes. Sometimes? Baby. <laughs> After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You know it. Yes, I do. Colonel Sanders smiles, and ever so softly as you approach, he stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? Ha ha ha! How bold are you to come out and ask? <laughs> it's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that'll make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. <laughs> it's just... It says the cock, come on, this is the chicken game. <laughs> it's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We only got two more whole days to get to know each other. It makes me so mad. What? Two fucking days. Yeah. <laughs> and his whole school is built. And they used it for three days. <laughs> yeah. They had this Maybe whole program made up everyone. for three fucking days. Maybe they just switch themes every three days. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe each semester is a week. So, like, this is three no, days I, is semester one, then the next week is semester two, and that's three days. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Ugh. He's clearly not going to give it up easy, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they said about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. That's you what they say about Moxie, secrets. I'll give you that. What day? That's what they say about secrets. Learning should be fun. Mm-hmm. No, they say secret secrets are no fun. Secret, secret secrets, secrets hurt, hurt someone. someone. Colonel Sanders, give, the, give us the recipe. <laughs> Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then he le leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use... Salt. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. I use fuck. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. <laughs> I use my but, uh... own semen. Fuck! Wow, I never would have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. Right here, baby. Cocaine? <laughs> you gotta know the right people. Well, you're wrapped in that huge revelation. You notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While well, everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Doing the horizontal hokey pokey on some freshman 15s. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. So fucking smart. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You bet, bet on that. Together for the first time, do you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him? Neg him to show oh your own strength. God. Wow, I'm with a big idea. To add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful? Yeah. It's already perfect the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery. It was perfect. I appreciate the compliments. Poop my shards 420. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today. I'm really starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You can come onto my leather couch. You step inside the massive cooking arena. 
where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they can need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything, except for maybe kisses to the crowds of fans. You're going to learn with your signature, adorable tiny food creations. I, on the other hand, am blowing something tonight. You best believe. Poop My Shards is going to be busy. <laughs> Poop My Shards is going to be blowing the kernel. <laughs> Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Hurry up and pair off! Yeah. And then you're just like... Like throw your friend aside and just like rrr, 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 Colonel Colonel <laughs> Colonel <laughs> Colonel <laughs> Colonel Naturally Miriam looks over to you but unable to control yourself you pounce on Colonel Sanders <laughs> Oh yeah Hey that Colonel Yeah he didn't even need to choose Hey Colonel would you like to tackle this lesson as a team a team of two that is me and you if that wasn't clear Your friend is crying <laughs> Yep Talker. Looks Heartbreak. completely Rip. abandoned. Sorry, girl. Sure, poop my shards 420. I'll sacrifice my friends for anything. Without you as partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. <laughs> That's a fuck. What does he have in his mouth? I don't know. Probably take that out. Oh, yeah. Is it a mouse? No. It's like a handle to something? Uh, to jump ropes? Is that something? To... Here, have it back. <laughs> Does it take me? No. Goodbye. It's like one of those things <laughs> yeah. you put around like uh, pencils? Grips? No, no. No. It, I, I think it's like something you would have on an exercise bike or something. Like mm. a grip. Oh no, two potential partners. Like I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I just don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick four. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. <laughs> okay, so what we said before was pop was the key, but the other one's literal kitchen appliance. Yeah. Oh, hi, dog. Man, there are a lot of animals in here. <laughs> you are so good. Wait, wait, why are we asking these people to be her partner? Because it's friend duties. Yeah. Because uh, it's up to me. Because no one can make decisions in wait, this world. Wait, does that mean they're asking you? Miriam's asking you to choose her partner for her. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Pop is like... Fucking brand she, she Stark She thought Pop here. was cute. Yeah. Clank? Clank? We don't know anything about it other than he's a kitchen appliance. I guess. Sorry, Clank, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Plop today. Pop, Pop. today. Hey, <laughs> Pop. Pop gives a big smile as he steps into the same station as Miriam. I'm a chef. He's gonna have to let go of those things in his hands before he does anything. <laughs> Holds up a banana and without peeling it, proudly eats the entire thing. All right. Okay. It's disconcerting, but Miriam was too kind to act grossed out. I love your enthusiasm, Pop. He looks at you and like, really, this kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're gonna keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide it. Divide up the steps. No chef is an island, and it takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Uh, Mashed potatoes and uh, gravy. Yeah. Yep. It's the KFC I just thing. wanted yeah. to read the others. But oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that was a load bearing handle grip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've seen something of a down-home chef, but I was thinking we could take something warm, inviting, comforting. Hi, doggy. Is that a dog or a cat? Well, this is a dog. Oh, okay. That's, that's, a, cat. A, cat. that's, that's a, a cat. That's a cat. 
I think that's, that's it for now. I think that's all. That's that's all we got for now. Yeah. Right, maybe so. mashed potatoes and gravy. Couldn't imagine one without the other. Yes. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potato. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. We only use the finest ingredients around here. What? It's like you're mashing are... them, though. There's really not much to choose about potatoes other than not moldy. Pretty I fresh around potato. here. Does anyone have a crush on? Someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? Yes, Ashley. We're just cooking yes. partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man. Did someone call for me? No, cheese, Van Van. Well, I'm over here crushing Poop My Jar's 420's dreams. You're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? <laughs> Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Poop My Shards 420 was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could all teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you'll be able to get up to my level. Ha, huh, doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. That's like so obvious. It's so toxic. Well, the thing is, like, anyone on the other side would obviously see this thing, yeah. and it's like, you're just an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you feel deep down that we cast a complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel, and if you don't watch out, Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Well, I did not have her back. Ah! Oh, God. What did I just do? That, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, sure. Nothing matters but the business. I'm here to learn and to express myself via cuisine, not bigger with bigger with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? Turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I choose Colonel Sanders and abandon all my friends. And Colonel Sanders chose me, isn't that right? Fuck friends. Fuck Only friends. KFC. Chicken. Every day. Yep. That's why Taha and Nathan are here. <laughs> 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 Fuck no, yeah, friends. You got the chicken right there. <laughs> <laughs> I chose the chicken. <laughs> As anyone should be expected to do for their country. <laughs> the businessman respects all fair agreements from contracts to handshakes. I took on Poop My Shards 420 as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say that you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Poop My Shards 420's natural talent or their loyalty. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. <laughs> you are filled with determination. <laughs> it's just Undertale now. Filled with determination and an upset stomach. <laughs> Oh, it's a dog. He looked for Sprinkles and hoped that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. He looked down at your station and realized that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. What? Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed and boiled the potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture. With plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. It's just on the second day. How do you have this? It's still the first day. It's just the second half of the first day. Yeah. And Colonel Sanchez extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat. 
out of which she pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders, <laughs> Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in his crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together, you take the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. But then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Van Van, do something, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified with this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Jesus. Ah, uh, this, this... The amount of ad right now is getting a little... It's getting on my nerves a little. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we knew what we were getting into. We, 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 we did, and I'm trying to turn yeah. it off. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, right there. Poop my shards for yeah. It is. They they definitely did it up. Yeah. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you better not be. You better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I has potatoes face? Just eat the potatoes, you fuck. Van Van rushes back over a covered dish in his hand. And he's about to do some advanced, like, Fist of the North Star technique. How many what is happening with his hand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. What the fuck? I, I, I okay. can't. Is he gonna reach for. Like to pull out your heart. It's just like this, but I thought he had extra fingers or something, and I'm like, what? Yeah. Where did they come from? Mashed potatoes with gravy. Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Uh, where is it? A braised tentacle of octopus in my silky salt water sauce. Played it on a battle axe. Played forge with my supreme chef ancestors. It's other dog. We are other dog. Man, <laughs> too many animals right now. Ah. Oh God! Don't bump that. You don't know. Oh, years. what? Is, what is that? Why are you sticky? You should know why you're sticky, Hank. <laughs> so gross. Maybe he was eating too much KFC fuck, fuck farts. Uh, yeah. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have the first bite, and you will look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite off his signature dish right off the plate. No! No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike the nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed. It may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. I, uh, I think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It killed him. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it's gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up in pop smoke. Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then he's almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. Oh. I imagine he's like Ralph Wiggum from, from Simpsons. <laughs> Tastes like poison! Ralph Wiggum's partly what Bartolino is based on. Oh, okay. Stop! The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shit. Shock is frozen the Wait, not the, the student's crowd. final moments? 
Yeah, well, that's already passed. We already. Oh uh, yeah, okay. They don't need to watch that anymore. Yeah, we're we're done with that. We're on to the next dying kids <laughs> final moments. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we came here for. <laughs> it's the arena, after all. Fast bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. There he should be go. a spy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> he should get in the CIA. He's probably too dumb, but, like, he can't get poisoned. There's probably some sort of, like, comedy about a spy who's an idiot who makes it work all the time. I don't know. Is that what Mr. Magoo was? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure the What's professors here make any make enough money. Um, hello. I just turned you into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all of his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry I had to go through all that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow... And it was at that moment that the power went out. And we never found out what happened to Colonel Sanders in his walk. Some say... He's still walking you home to this day, but he will always be walking us home in our hearts.